Warning, this episode may contain potential spoilers for the upcoming film, Godzilla x Kong The New Empire. The information discussed here is pure speculation and should not be regarded as official or canon to the MonsterVerse. What do real-life animals such as this orangutan have to tell us about the new MonsterVerse villain? Today, we'll try to do our best to uncover some potential attributes of this new monster and see if we can figure this guy out before the release of GXK. Note that there have already been some leaks circling around this new ape titan that may or may not be officially true, some of which may have mentioned this ape by its name. Now, this is your last warning before we make mention of a couple of these leaks. For this episode, we will be referring to this new kaiju as Scar King. And also, since we don't really have the official name of the species that he belongs to, we'll be referring to them as the Red Apes. Upon its first appearance in the title reveal trailer, many people instantly took note of its glowing eyes, reddish-brown appearance, and lanky build. And some went as far as comparing this fella to the Beast Titan from Attack on Titan. The big monkey titan that had an absolute field day with all sorts of opponents, ranging from technologically deprived islanders to people who had firearms and other explosive weaponry down to a science. Similar to these guys in Enlisted, today's sponsor. Now this game took us by surprise with the amount of historical detail and extremely fun gameplay. This is a World War II multiplayer shooter game that you can play on PC, Xbox, and PlayStation. And yes, dude, it's cross-platform, so you and your buddies can all hop in and take part in large-scale battles on the most famous battlefields. Take part in the Battle of Moscow, the invasion of Normandy, with specially crafted loadouts to help you play in the style you perform best. You get to control your own troops in squads mode, customize each of their loadouts, give them orders, and take control of them at any time with the touch of a button. Got murked? No prop, dude, just switch into another squad member until you run out of squad members. <laughs> and one of the things we particularly like was the realism in the environments. This game comes to life with destructible fences, windows, and more, and have the ability to join the battle as an air pilot inside a tank or other vehicles. You decide how you fight. So if you're ready to play for free on PC, Xbox Series XS, and PS5, use this link. And we'll go ahead and hook you up with three days of premium time and several troop and weapon orders for a head start. Thanks to Enlisted for sponsoring this video. And now, let's get back to the new Ape Titan. So back to the Scar King, we'll be covering five attributes that may give this guy a critical edge when facing off bulky opponents like Kong and Godzilla, using what may be the real-life creature that inspired its design and characteristics, the Orangutan. Note that a direct comparison between orangutans and Scar King is not going to be a perfect one-to-one. -one. Remember, all titans are not normal animals and follow their own rule sets. Instead, this perspective discussed in this episode will use orangutans and gorillas as plausible benchmarks to use as reference. But why are we specifically using an orangutan to compare with Scar King? Well, there are many clues. The presence of lanky appendages, red coloration of fur, and the fact that orangutans, as far as cognitive abilities go, can be far more complex than that of gorillas, which are physically more stronger than orangutans but aren't necessarily as crafty. Let's delve deeper into the differences of these two kaijus by assigning them the apes that were potentially used as chief real-world references. That being African gorillas for the Kong and orangutans for Scar King. Number 1. Base Differences Despite being the great ape that is most distantly related to humans, one of the orangutan's most notable attributes is their cognitive ability. In fact, the word orangutan comes from the Mayala words orang, hutan, which together mean forest person, for obvious reasons. Male orangutans, unlike male gorillas, tend to be solitary creatures and are shown to demonstrate aggression towards other males to set up a territory. They can live in groups, and when they do, they show complex social dynamics, including empathy, consoling, and even alliances and coalitions, a much more complex social system than a group of gorillas. 
These guys, as well as the Kong species, are actually very social creatures. It's extremely rare to see a single male gorilla by itself wandering about. If kept alone and isolated, gorillas tend to get sick, stressed, and even develop symptoms similar to depression. Sound familiar? Yeah, our boy Kong has been alone for a while, and the worst place to be alone at such a young age was Skull Island. Scar King, however, would probably not have any issues with being alone. But does this actually mean that he's going to be alone in the next film? Maybe yes, and maybe no. This is a talking point that we are going to be revisiting later in this episode. Remember that orangutans can form alliances or entities such as the said coalitions. Keep this in mind as we move further in the episode. Number 2. Deception this category will help us understand that orangutan intelligence is a little more complex than that of gorillas in regards to social interaction. There are not many examples of deception employed by gorillas in the wild. In captivity, there is a recorded instance where the male gorilla would purposefully hide from the mother of the child to play with the infant, despite her not wanting him to do so. Orangutans are a different story. There are many cases where orangutans employ deceptive tactics against other members of their own kind and other species. In one case, certain individuals were seen using foliage to blast their calls through them, modifying their voices and in the act sounding like bigger and more powerful apes. Things get crazier with orangutans in captivity. Ken Allen, a male orangutan at the San Diego Zoo, became well known for its deceptive habit of escaping his enclosure many times and acting innocent when under surveillance. Once the zookeepers would go away, Ken would get right back at trying to escape. This guy went ahead and would teach other orangutans how to get out. Say they have to stay one step ahead of the very intelligent orangutans. Ken Allen himself hasn't escaped from this exhibit for almost a year now. That doesn't mean he's lost interest. Most people here think he's the mastermind behind these other successful attempts. He's the mastermind. You see, apart from being deceptive, this species can actually teach others how to do the same as well. Another fella known as Fu Manchu would fashion a lockpick from a wire to let himself out, hiding this tool inside his mouth, understanding that this little device is important for escape. Just like Ken, this orangutan escaped many times. Because this species is basically a master of deception, we can assume that Scar King will probably have these same attributes. Being an extremely crafty titan means that it would be able to do things Kong can't. Now, admittedly, Kong was a pretty deceptive creature himself as well, as seen in the Battle of Hong Kong where he successfully lured Godzilla to face away from him. This deceptive nature in Kong is one of the few attributes that he highly outperforms gorillas in. One could say Kong outperforms orangutans in deception as well, but will he be better at this than Scar King? If we think about this for a second, deceit will be one of the many attributes that Scar King will have to be better at, since he already lacks a robust build. Meaning that rather than focusing on strength, this guy would be highly dependent on his wits. The superiority of orangutan intelligence does not end in deceit. Coming up, can these animals give us clues about any potential weaponry? Enjoying this episode? Friendly reminder for you to subscribe. And go subscribe to Goji Shorts too. Watch fun MonsterVerse Kaiju Shorts, dinosaurs, and stuff that will scare your friends. Okay, that's it. Number 3. Tool Use Scar King's use of tools can maybe be hinted at by the tool use proficiency found in orangutans. Note that in the real world, orangutans are animals that don't just eat plants and fruits, but also consume meat such as fish, but it doesn't end there. In fact, they are one of the only few of the great apes that eat other apes. Orangutans are seen fashioning prods to scare catfish out of the water to grab them, altering existing tools to improve them, using deductive reasoning to understand what tools are best for the task at hand, and using makeshift whips to scare away or get animals of other species to stay at bay. Scar King would maybe display these traits, but at a more magnified scale. But first, let's talk about gorillas and the Kong species. This female gorilla here is seen using a stick to gauge the depth of this small body of water to see if it's safe to cross. This is one of the few examples we have. In comparison to orangutans, 
Gorillas don't really display vast amounts of tool use in the real world due to the fact that most of the activities that they partake in can be facilitated by their own bodies. No need to use rocks to crack fruits open when you boast the fifth most powerful bite in the animal kingdom. And since being extremely strong solves most, if not all, of your problems when it comes to defense and hunting. Except gorillas are strictly vegetarian, so no need to use any tools to capture prey like their Asian counterparts. This is one of the other main differences between Monster vs. Kong and Gorillas. Our Kong here feeds on mostly meat and rarely relies on tools to hunt and dispatch them, but its species can meticulously craft weaponry. But will these weapons be better than Scar King's? If we use gorillas and orangutans as base reference, it's likely that Scar King might have even more intricate tools or have one tool capable of being a multi-use weapon, one which could level the playing field against a much stronger kaiju. Number 4. Observation one thing is learning from your own kind, but another is learning from another species. All apes are capable of seeing and observing a senior specimen complete a task and learning from them. Orangutans are a bit more interesting. In the real world, we find that even amongst themselves, orangutans will employ tactics and tool sets that are unique to their regions or territories. Several researchers have used the word culture to describe these behaviors. They take this a step further by not only learning from their seniors, but also learning from other smaller animals. Orangutans have been observed to study gibbons, observing how they access new food sources, and then copying these methods themselves. But you know what else they watch? Humans. That's right, orangutans are known to learn things from us, such as the catfish retrieval method mentioned earlier, which was likely then learned by another orangutan, and so on. What you're looking at now is an orangutan learning how to use a saw, first determining which side was sharp and recalling how this tool is used, and for what. Will Scar King be as observant as real-world orangutans? This is actually very likely the case. It's possible that this guy is older than Kong, so he already has experience and knowledge attained from other members of his kind that are now dead or maybe still alive, perhaps also learning skills from human Hollow Earth civilizations as well. We must also mention that the Kong species isn't so far behind on this as well. After all, the novelization of Godzilla vs. Kong does state that the Iwi and Kongs did once live together, implying that Kongs also learned a few things from humans. Scar King and his kind, on the other hand, could maybe do the same, but better. If this kaiju is some sort of titan used to spearhead a coalition of red apes, it is perhaps possible that his knowledge is passed down to other members of his kind as well. Now, let's get into the last and most trippy segment of this episode. Number 5. Communication How well could Scar King communicate? In GVK, we witnessed Kong communicate via ASL, American Sign Language. Kong was obviously taught this method of communication, similar to how modern-day apes are taught sign language. In this case, both gorillas and orangutans are capable of communicating in this fashion, capable of making themselves understood and exchanging in complex conversations. But what advantages do orangutans have over gorillas, and what could Scar King's advantage be over Kong? Orangutans are some of the most outwardly cognizant animals, going as far as understanding concepts of exchange and using certain objects as currency to get things in return. Even if an orangutan is not taught sign language, they are capable of pantomiming, using their hands to point at objects in an attempt to get a message across, and they do this quite effectively. Like this fella who was able to get these humans to dig inside this purse to see what was inside. Scar King will likely not be able to talk to humans from the get-go because there's nobody down here teaching this dude sign language that we know of. Despite this, perhaps Scar King would be able to communicate with humans and Kong with other methods, pantomiming like his apparent real-world counterparts, or skipping humanity altogether and talking to Kong. This exchange in dialogue is a lot more likely to happen in this film. It would be really cool to witness a scene where Kong and Scar King share some sort of dialogue either through vocalizations or signaling, and take many forms such as questions, insults, or even bullying. This is where a much more witty and manipulative kaiju would have an edge, getting inside Kong's head and making him act more erratic. 
Today, we learned that orangutan intelligence is a bit different than that of gorillas, probably suggesting that Scar King's character and abilities may give him an edge against Kong. But will this be enough to face both Kong and Godzilla? Subscribe to not miss another episode further discussing Scar King and more theories before the release of GXK. Don't forget to hit that link in the description so you and your friends can play Enlisted and receive three days of premium time and troop and weapon orders to give you a head start in the battlefield. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you in the next episode.